In order to produce 3,000 metric tons, the forge press has a 45 ton cylinder and we have 11 hydraulic pumps that are pushing 12,000 gallons of oil. In 100 seconds, we're pressing all the way down the length of an ingot or a balloon. We're picking it up and rotating it and pressing all the way down a second side. So we compact it from both sides. And that's what gives us that sound center capability. It's actually forces driving toward the center of the bloom or the ingot rather than longitudinally in the rolling process. It heals everything inside the ingot or the bloom so much better than what a rolling mill can potentially do. The nice thing about the synergies of casting, forge press, and rolling is we've got it all right here. Number one, the cast bloom coming over is a neater, cleaner package. Uniform in length, uniform in shape. It's not tapered like our ingots. It doesn't have a hot top. As it's delivered to the forge press, it's easier for our manipulator and the press to handle it just because of its geometry. Because of the process technology that's been employed in the caster, we now have a better center right to begin with. We are able to process through the forge press even quicker with a cast bloom than we were with an ingot. And from the material handling standpoint, to the manipulator, to the forge press, it's just a win-win all the way across.